Hello developers, welcome back to all of you. My name is Nikhil all the way from India. So in this video tutorial, we will see how can we integrate with Jira platform from service now. So as you know, Jira platform is for project management based on agile methodology. And here I'm going to use a flow designer to integrate with Jira platform. To exchange a resource such as the main reason we do integration with Jira for exchanging story, epic, etc. So to work in a flow designer, you need plugin to be activated for this integration so if you log in using your email name and password you'll see this page for the first so before going inside this instance for the development you have you can activate the plugin from here so if you click this drop down icon which is at the top right corner and under this instance action section you could see this activate plugin menu just click that and here just type integration so as soon you type you can see uh, we got this four integration hub installer i recommend you to use enterprise pack installer because once it will be activated you'll have the feature to create an inbound integration using REST inbound integration for REST API so let's close it the question comes here that what details we need to integrate with Jira platform obviously we need an endpoint and credential so let's let me log in to jira platform uh, jira login because i've already logged in so let me open this uh, wait 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 let's go back see i have this project okay or i can open any of them let me open this see, i've selected a kanban template that's why this is doing my kanban project So right now you can see there is no any issue and if you will go here uh, so there is no any records or if you want to create a user or group also you can create from here like uh, if you are creating any group here if you want to create that here also you can do that okay so first we need a credential to connect with this jira platform right so from the application navigator type credentials so here uh, you could see this under the integration of application we have the connection and credential uh, menu item under that we have the credential menu so here you can see this one jira instance which i have created So all you need is that 
the name you can give any name and the username of username is basically the email which you are using for your jira platform and the password here is the token that you have to generate from here how can you generate that if you click the profile icon here and under that and this is the drop down menu and here you have this manage account so click that and here you have security menu just click and open it will open one page and here you can see the api token okay so let's click and see i have this token already so i want to create a new api token okay create api token uh what i'll do i'll revoke this i'll create new api token so service now dash and i'll give the instance id create and just copy this and just come here and replace the cbs password by new token okay so let's save it now we have a credential but uh, now we have to configure where will you use this credential okay so for that we have to specify connection let's create a connection record so i already created a jira connection record here so this is the connection url like i'm saying that i want to connect uh, this url okay using this credential credential basically login details okay and this connection alias uh, if this is not coming for you means you have not activated the jira spook okay so if I type here plugins and open new tab see what is this jira spook okay jira spoke is the custom application contain activities and flow action to perform integrations with jira platform there are many other spokes to connect with different application for an instance microsoft for microsoft uh, we have different spoke for slack we have different for other platform we have different spoke type jira spoke so here uh, this application you have to install and once you install then only if you create this connection record you can find this jira spoke okay as connection alias save it now next we have to do integration with the flow designer so you type flow designer
wait for a while so me search the flow which I have created the demo Jira integration so okay open this so this is the flow which I have created uh, it is triggering when incident will be when the incident will create then uh, this uh, flow will trigger but I just want to add the condition here not for all the incident just execute for priority 1 and 2 not the jira <laughs> priority is one of critical and high okay done create issue see action here create issue okay and how it is populating i'll tell you because we have configured this connection and credential and the alias name while creating ok because of this it is able to fetch and it will show only if if you create this flow designer after uh, generating api token and after configuring this connection and credential and only it will show here otherwise you have to use this script and there you have to mention these this project key okay so where this project key you will find i'll show you see here project setting so you can see the key name key an and the issue type here friend if I use this and this is the task type okay if you want to do with the script uh, if it is your project key and if your type is not populating then you can manually uh, set through script okay and see testing jira integration and i am taking short description from this incident record and description as well okay but the priority here friend i'll show you it is it will not work okay let me test uh, let me select one record uh, jira jira i will search with the jira okay test jira okay this one and run test Let's see the reason it is not working is that let's see here let's see error field priority cannot be set it is not the appropriate screen or this error it is coming right it is saying that field priority cannot be set it is not the appropriate screen or unknown this okay what i'll do i'll go here and use this script and <laughs> here i will return empty okay and just save it and i'll again test but friend this is not the solution this is just the walk around okay so zira
see. So let's go here and check whether I can one project. So here you can see one record has been created here. Okay. Please update Jira priority by one critical. Okay, so here we can I think update the priority but I don't know much more about the Jira platform but from somewhere we can update the priority. Okay, this is how we can connect with Jira. So if you want to uh, create a group and user also you can create okay using the same Jira spoke. Mostly you can perform all the activities uh, using that Jira spoke from service now. This is how you can connect with Jira platform and next use case if you can do is try that update this uh, issue by adding attachment okay this is your task so friend thank you for watching